we are doing art from my bedroom this this morning because anyway this is this is how our bedroom turned out i should probably do a, a um bedroom tour but not in this video not in this video all right so we are still you can paint with the masters or you can paint like the masters we're still in this book and um the blog link i'll still put below but we went through the first portion of it last week the tools and materials color mixing um the acrylic techniques oops goodness sakes i'm doing it again uh the acrylic techniques back up a little bit using the templates we did all that last week so this one is this first area is going to be paint like the impressionists so what we're going to do is i'm going to read to you this uh, the impressionists were a group of artists in the late 1800s who began painting with the with a never before used method instead of mixing their paints on the palette to create the colors these painters applied colors straight from the camp straight to the canvas in small strokes and dashes. The viewer's eye would then visually blend the different strokes of color, giving the impression of new color. The Impressionists also focused on painting light and the variations of color within it. There are rarely hard edges or solid areas of color in an Impressionist painting, which gives them a softer look. These paintings show delicate impressions of the objects rather than photo like recreations so here is right the difference okay playing with light and color creating colors on the canvas impressionists have a unique way of applying paint to the canvas for example to paint eat a peach a traditional artist would mix several shades and variations of peach colors and apply them to the canvas but an impressionist might not mix premix peach paint instead the artist would apply small strokes of red pink orange and yellow next to one another the separate strokes of colors be visually blend when you step back from the painting producing a more intense shades painting with quick strokes the impressionist painted with very quick strokes to record the light and color of a scene and to suggest movement because earth is constantly rotating natural light is always moving and changing from sunrise to sunset the colors and light at sunrise and sunset aren't consistent either essentially the impressionists wanted to capture their impressionism of the fleeting moment in time a scene painted with smooth blended strokes isn't as lively as the one done with short feathery strokes Okay, I am. So, I apologize for the way I read aloud. I, I don't read aloud real well, but here's your peach, right? So you're gonna get up close to it. You see the small strokes. If you come back, you can see, right? And here's your, here's your sunrise. Here's your light. There's your things. So, okay. So the different impressionist paint, uh, Um, what do I want to say? Paintings you can do. Sailboat. Water lilies. Poppy fields. Regatta. And it's post impressionism. We'll get to that next week. So yeah, that's that's the impressionist chapter that she has in here. So okay, next week we'll do post impressionism or post impressionists, and then we'll keep going. Okay, everyone, that's it for this week. Short and sweet. So that was about just the impressionists and and what that particular book had. Um, to offer and then like i said we're gonna delve into the next few chapters uh 
the rest of September. I know it kind of is, is a little bit drawn out, but I kind of like the fact that it keeps these videos, you know, within about five, six minutes, you know, just enough to, to, that we can get a little bit of information and keep on going with our lives, right? So, all right, you guys, I'll see you next Friday. Peace. Thank you.